Finally, some good news for the Orange community. In addition to entering the dome for weekly COVID testing, students will also be able to cheer on spring sports. Student organizations like Otto's Army call the announcement a major win after months of advocacy efforts to cheer on their teams at the dome. This news this morning really, really is, uh, it, it feels really good because we've put a lot of work in. A university-wide email announcing an agreement with the state health department to pilot a reopening plan arrived in student inboxes last Wednesday. The first test for the plan came last Saturday with nearly 500 students in attendance for the men's lacrosse game against Vermont. The agreement came as frustration had been mounting among students since Governor Cuomo gave the okay for the large sports venues to reopen at the end of February. I feel like I'm here, I haven't left, and I get tested every week, and like I can't even go to a basketball game yet. Like I don't understand like how that's happening. Like if Cuomo gives the okay, like how is the Department of Health not giving the okay? So I was, you know, a little bit frustrated with like the dissonance that this was creating. Senior Jason Resnick was so frustrated, he wrote a letter to the editor at Syracuse.com. I mean, like, especially after um, the article came out, like a bunch of people were saying like, you know, thank you, like, we agree. Like, like someone had to say it, like, um, so I'm glad I could sort of like be a, a mouthpiece to sort of my like fellow seniors that wanted to get back. The Carrier Dome is one of the largest college basketball venues in the country with a roughly 36,000 fan capacity. Other major indoor venues in New York with similar even less capacity like Madison Square Garden and the Barclays Center opened to fans almost immediately after the February 23rd reopening date. They just opened up, uh, you know, for like 2,000 fans, like in Madison Square Garden. And I was like, you know, New York City is like COVID capital of the world. Like, <laughs> it's really not, it's not as bad in Syracuse, you know? And now the Dome will be among those reopening to fans. And even though the decision didn't come in time for the conclusion of basketball season, students like Jonathan are just happy to cheer on spring sports in their favorite place. It's been a long time coming, and yeah. we've put a lot of work in, and it's it feels good. Brendan Scanlon, NCC News.